Uh, commissioners, citizens of Sedgwick County, I appreciate the opportunity to speak this morning. I felt uh, uh, in this instance it's very appropriate for me uh, to respond. Um, first off, <clears throat> you know, duty, honor, and integrity uh, throughout my career have been va values that I have followed and I have lived by. Uh, not only for my military career, uh, but specifically serving Sedgwick County. This fact uh, for 34 years has never been called into question. My attendance uh, before the bid board last week was no exception of this. It was simply an act of transparency, which I think is a value that I have tried to support and, and defend uh, in the year that I have been as the county manager, simply not an act of Chicago style politics, which is what was alleged. The values I mentioned a moment ago outline how I operate and how I believe the bid board process should operate. It's also a note here that uh, for the last eight or nine months, I have the uh, legal team, finance team, and the deputy county manager working hard on improving uh, the bid board process that I hope within the next month or so um, would uh, will go live and will come in front of the commission for a vote. Uh, and that's an important thing. Uh, I think the bid board process is one of the most valued thing. Uh, say, uh, uh, it's one of the most important things we have in terms of, of selecting uh, bids and bidders and, and evaluating the criteria behind how we do things. And that process needs to be protected. And it is one thing that I have insisted on the last nine months that we change and we support uh, change for. Uh, so my action in front, in front of the bid board are simply my transparency to the public. Uh, I didn't go to anybody's office. I didn't meet with the evaluation team. I didn't meet with anybody on the bid board before this. I did it in public, which is, I think, how you should do it. But I do have a voice as a county manager in that process. My rationale and reasoning for selecting a new auditing team are several and sound. For example, as Linda stated, a fresh perspective on our financial practices, policies, and procedures is essential, especially at this time. The Government Finan Financial Officers Association standards on recommend government organizations change auditors every five years, and we haven't in close to two decades. Recent events related to the theft of $566,000 from the taxpayers, the citizens of Sedgwick County, indicate vulnerabilities that have not been identified in previous audits, but may still exist. Status quo is simply not an option. My decision-making process for this action does not include political considerations or consequences, especially with a decision of such magnitude. I simply couldn't support such reckless act, and, and certainly not against the professionals at AGH. Have n nothing but utmost respect for Paul Allen, uh, Steve Hulick, and, and really the whole team. They have served this county uh, professionally for years, and I have the utmost respect for them. But status quo is simply not an option in this case. During my tenure as county manager and, and the commissioners, you know this, every decision I have made and I have insisted on following these principles. Is it legal? Is it ethical? And is it moral? And is it the right thing to do for the people of Cedric County and our organization? Rest assured, these were my only thoughts when I appeared in front of the bid board last, last week and they are still my thoughts today. Thank you.